we've got the parents in here. Uh, ignore the wax flow. Uh, certain puppers, the certain puppies, they tip their water bowl. Yeah. They left the tunnel. There's always someone in the tunnel. There's usually somebody having a wee in the tunnel too. What are you doing in there, Mr. Green? So handsome. Is he so handsome? Is this so handsome? There's a petite pie gone in there as well. She's like gone really quite active, like exploring a lot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much purple. You okay, little man? You okay, little man? So this is going to be a quick video because I am off on a road trip soon in the next half hour. Um, of course, Radar, Mr. Blue from Raven's Litter is coming home. Absolutely no fault of his own. Um, so, I'm going to have him here for a few days, see where he's at, and going to be looking for a new home for him. So, he will be six months old in like eight days' time. I think he's definitely nearly six months old anyway um he certainly looked show quality when he left here and throughout the time he was here so fingers crossed he still will be but even if he's not and he just goes to a pet home that is fine because that's where he was in his previous home he spent the night with my dad so that's good. Um, and he's always a sweetheart. Very chilled. <laughs> you know, he'd often sit back and watch the goings on. He's very observant, but not particularly high energy. Certainly that's how he was when he left. So, fingers crossed. He's still like that in a Lulu because he was lovely. He was a sweetie. There's no trouble. There's no trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But I do think it's like an important um, thing to say that when you get a puppy, it is our responsibility to teach them about the world. They know nothing about the world or how to behave in it. And then there's nothing wrong with what he's done. He's just been a puppy. Um, but it is down to us humans to teach them how to function, behave in this world. Um, and that's our responsibility when we take a dog on. Even if we took on an older dog, they don't necessarily know our routine in our own home. They don't know, you know, like, for example, some houses don't, allow some people don't allow dogs on furniture well that might be something you've got to teach an older dog because they've been allowed in their previous home all of that sort of you know simple stuff but it all is down to us to teach them how we want them and need them to behave so like i said it's going to be a really short video because um, I gotta go and give the big dogs a run in the field, but also, um, when I get home, I want to concentrate on radar, settling him in, reintroducing him to the pack, because even though he was born here, even though he was here for a long time, he's been away for five, six weeks. Um, so to the pack, he's not the same dog they probably won't remember him they might or some might but anyway it's going to need to reintroduce into the pack and that's the way i always do it anyway even if they've been gone a day two days um if they're young <coughs> then you just got to take it slow because for example even phoebe who goes on sleepovers every weekend with friends of mine who work full times so can't have a dog in the week um when she gets back the pack the girls in particular will tell her off because she left the pack 
So, and it's, it's not a big telling off, like it do not hurt her or anything like that, but they all give her a correction for leaving the pack. And even though it's routine now that she leaves, like, and stays with them every weekend, um, it's very few weekends she doesn't stay with them, they still do the same thing. Even if she goes for a walk one evening on her own with them, she'll get told off for leaving the pack. Ow, that's my ankle! You naughty boy! So, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna shut up now and I'm gonna get on with some more jobs. See you all soon. Bye!